Hi everyone, it's Vicky. Today I'm doing a review of my new embroidery machine. So this is the Brother Innovus NV880E. I unboxed it a few days ago and I've had a chance to play with it and it's really beautiful. So it came with some software. It also comes with three embroidery hoops. This is the medium size. The smallest size is a 4x4 inch and that's the same size that my previous embroidery machine could embroider. So I can now do much bigger embroideries. This is the 6x10 inch, so this is the largest one. And then it came with all these other goodies. Once I'd unpacked it out of the box, it was very easy to assemble. You can see the blue tape is where they, I suppose, tape things together in the factory to stop them moving during transport. So I just had to take a few pieces of tape off and there's a little latch that you move so that you can slide that big side onto the embroidery machine. You'll see it in a little while. I really enjoy the Brother embroidery machines and my previous machine was also a Brother. So there isn't a big learning curve because it's the same embroidery machine. It's a very similar program to use. So the differences with this machine and my old machine are obviously that it has a bigger space that I can do embroidery. So I can now do 6 by 10 inch embroidery. It's also got a touch screen, which I didn't have before. It's got a lot more fonts and pictures. Um, and then there's also these buttons here that I can use as well as the touch screen. It's a lot quieter. I've just put some footage in before this. Um, where you can see that it's a lot quieter than my previous machine um, and the stitching is a lot faster so that's really good. It also has wireless transfer so I don't need to plug it into my laptop to get the designs onto the machine. So I'll take you to my desk and I'll show you what one of the embroideries looks like that I've just completed. So this is the hoop size. This is that 6 by 10 inch hoop size, so you can see it's huge. Um, this is an A4 piece of paper, it's almost the size of an A4 piece of paper. So it's a lovely big size, there are so many more things that I'll be able to do now. The hoops are a little bit different, they've got this where you can lift this up and tighten your screw, which is a little, a little bit different to how it used to be before the screw was just on the side. So that's great. So there are some upgrades. Um, here's all the paperwork. So it comes with a, a manual, um, some instruction videos. So I haven't looked at any of this yet. Mostly because 
the the way the machine is is very similar to my previous machine so i didn't really need to look up too many instructions on how to get started um, just things like how to wind the threads and and what buttons to press and this is the embroidery design guide so it's got lots of patterns and fonts there's some japanese But I just want to get to the pictures. Oh, and there's some frames. But here are the pictures. There's a real mix of everything. There's some Christmas designs. And button holes. This is the one I've just done, and I'll show you that. And I did the llamas earlier this week. And I do want to try these roses. I like these roses. And we've got two different floral alphabets. So this one is like hollow and the flowers are on the inside. And this one is solid and there's flowers attached to it. I like both of them. And all the colors you need are next to the design. And then they've got... Um, a thread conversion chart which I didn't use I just held my threads up and matched them by eye and then this is information about the fonts and this is the zebra one so I used a towel that I already had at home I just wanted to practice to see if I even liked the design and this is the zebras it's very cute I left off the little flowers. There were some little purple flowers and I didn't really like those, so I just left them off, which you can do. Um, let's see, there was, some, there was this little purple flowers, but I didn't really think they matched, so I just left them off. Um, it took 57 minutes to embroider and it had those colours in it. Well, I didn't use the flower colours, so it had four colours. It had the two greens and black and white. That was really good to, to work on. I was surprised at how many times I had to fill the bobbin. Um, the smaller machine, you do a smaller design, and so you don't have to fill the bobbin as many times. But this one, I had to fill the bobbin three times while I was embroidering it. So that was interesting. But they did give me spares of those bobbins, and what I've done is I've filled them all up. So next time I need to keep um, refilling the bobbins I can just switch them out so I don't have to stop and rewind the bobbin. So thanks for watching the review of my new embroidery machine. I'm really looking forward to all the fun things I'm going to make with it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.